with the ever increasing importance of having a good mid lane matchup, maintaining your own vision and denying opponents can often make or break the lane. So let's dive right into the most common strategies, find out what works and what doesn't, and how to outplay your opponents in the vision game. Oh, this one's in the bag. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> The one consistent and unchanging thing you need to make a habit of is to ask your support to share you the word tango set before the match begins. This is one thing that doesn't require any skill and if your support has a positive IQ number, you should consistently be entering the game with the word already in your inventory. Now as the match loads, begin spamming the right click towards the mid lane before the minimap even appears. And only in those matches where you already have a ward and move out as soon as possible should you use this ward spot. When done properly, not only do you have great vision of both high ground and the rune, but you can also spot the enemy placing his ward near the same area on his side. One of One of fire. Fire. And if you maintain your camera on the spot for a while, or at least watch the minimap, not only can you sometimes gather important information around the area, but also spot when the enemy is trying to outsmart you. 30 seconds. But of course, there are risks. If your ward was given to you late, or your hero is moving slower than a crystal maiden, by the time you arrive to the spot, it is possible the enemy is already there and would see you placing that ward. And sometimes you both arrive at the same time, and then it becomes a battle of which player is quicker with his sentries. So unless you had a good head start, it is best to choose another ward spot, some of which I will explain by the end of the video. Now let's talk scouting the enemy ward. After you choose a good spot for your own vision, hang around your tower for a bit. With the clock showing about 30 to 40 seconds remaining, that's where you move out to perform the aggro checks. Naturally, if the tower does not have vision on you, it will not attack. So when you hack some trees inside the tower range and suddenly eat some fireballs, this means that the enemy ward is giving him vision of you. 30 seconds oh, to no, 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 no matter what, we get to watch somebody lose. Also, the reason we wait until later into the countdown is that if you move too quickly, the enemy can be expecting you and foil any scouting attempt. Now, if you're playing Dire, the checking pattern is quite straightforward. If you move to this spot and the tower attacks you, the ward should be around the middle right side of the lane. Likewise, if this spot lights a tower up, the ward is probably leaning towards the left-ish area. You can always perform a double take to narrow down the location. Playing right inside, there are a bit more options. Stepping into this spot here will let you know that the entire left side of the diamond is warded. Okay. Same as before, you can step into individual tree locations to more accurately pinpoint the ward itself. In the case you don't find anything here, there's a high chance the ward is in the right hand side. This spot here will confirm or deny the ward's existence. Very good. You can also automate the entire ward checking process by queuing up some shift right click movements and holding alt at the same time.
<laughs> now, if you've hugged all the trees in the tower's vicinity and still couldn't locate the ward, it is possible that either the opponent's support declared him unworthy of 50 gold and never shared the ward, or they played it more safe and chose a further away spot. Often, they really want the rune visible, so trying for a far right reward can provide fruitful. And if you still found nothing, it means the opponent has sacrificed the high ground vision for dedicated rune vision. If you're playing a rune reliant hero such as Storm or Ember, it is often a good play to hide the ward better if you can shove out the lane and control the pickups. By placing the ward in the following spots, the opponent will be unable to 3 check you and you will still maintain good vision over possible incoming ganks. Lastly, after the 5 minutes have passed, make sure to ask the support to load the new ward into the courier and send it your way. Otherwise, if there's drama, just buy the ward yourself. Maintaining good mid lane vision is half the victory. This concludes today's topic. Good luck.